I am so tired. I'm probably the most lamest uploader for videos in the whole entire freaking universe. Hello, my fellow Kinos. Yes, that is correct still, like I said in the last vlog. I'm calling you guys Kinos from now on. I hope you're all doing amazing. And in today's video, I thought I'd bring something different to the table. I realized I hadn't done a haul video for since February. Originally, I had planned to do thrift and anime hauls put together. But that's just not happened and it's just not been consistent because, you know, I've just been so, so, so poor. Poor! I'm not poor anymore. You know, I got a new job and everything, so, you know, it's so good. I thought I would do a mini anime manga haul that I've accumulated over, like, the last couple of months. So... There's not much here, like I said, it's mini mini, but I thought I just, well, I just want to share something with you guys, because now I know I'm definitely going to be able to buy more manga and anime over like the next few months, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to do more anime and manga hauls because I really, really want to do more. It is, it is a lot of fun, and I did have a lot of fun doing the last video. Anyway, enough of me rabbiting on, let's get into it! We'll first do the manga first, because there's only like two sets. So the first manga I have to present to you is a uh, Dawn of Arcana. I think that's how you say it. Um, I probably said it wrong. Uh, hold on, Dawn of the uh, Arcana, Arcana. And this is volume six. This is what the cover looks like. It's quite pretty. This is a shoji manga. I have been collecting this slowly over a long period of time. Um, I got this off eBay. It was like a three bucks on eBay and shipping was free. So that was like stuff all really. The basic plot of this anime, I actually can't remember. So I'm just gonna read off volume one. So I don't tell you guys the wrong one. So the plot of this is Princess Nabuka of Sena is forced to marry Prince Caesar of the enemy country, Balakwa, Tatuma, to becoming a hostage. While Caesar is pleasing to the eye, he is also selfish possessive, which he friggin' is, and telling Nabuka outright, you are my property. So he's like one of those personal possessive kind of people about their own things. With only her attendant Loki, he's, you know, got ears and he's kind of cute in the manga. At her side, Nabuka must find a way to cope with her hostile surroundings, her fake marriage and mysterious power. The basic plot of this um, manga, I thought it was just easier to kind of read it off the bat because I haven't read this manga in quite a while and I haven't read this yet. I'm so bad at reading manga, I'm hoping to get around to it but it is really, it is a really really good um, manga. For anyone who really is a fan of shoji, I'm sure there's millions out there, I'm sure and anything romancy. It, it, this this manga kind of reminds me of um, Yona of the Dawn, the anime that came out recently, I think it was this, you know, last year. I haven't seen that. And I got volumes uh, three, um, 
four and five. Um, that's the only ones that the person had that was selling them, but I just thought I cannot pass this up because I was stalking eBay for ages for some of these, but they were overseas in the USA and the shipping was like, <laughs> so you kind of get my meaning. Um, uh, now, basic plot. I can't remember again. Oh, yes, you guys can have a look at some of the covers. I quite like the covers. They're quite... They're quite pretty, pretty. So the basic plot of this manga is surrounded by this girl here. Her name is Tana Po. Tana Po? Yeah, Tana Po Po. Tana Po Po. I'm hoping I said that right. She um, goes to a brand new school and uh, you know tries to fit in with everyone, and she ends up falling in love with um, what's his name? Koiki, he's like, you know, one of the, he's part of a, the student council, I think? No. Yeah, he's just part of the student council. And, um, you know, she kind of makes friends with him and, you know, there's kind of, you know, lots of love triangles and that. And, uh, yeah. And that's kind of the basic story of it. <laughs> I don't have volume one, so I can't tell you from the back of the book. So I um, do apologise. Uh, don't worry, I will link in the description down below um, to more information about um, any of the mangas that I've mentioned, which is Imadoka and Dawn of Arcana. So you guys can check out for yourselves instead of listening to Lita's shitty ex plot explanations. I really, really love this manga. It's just so cute. There's only like five volumes, but I just had to have it in my manga collection. By the way, my manga collection is friggin' Small as, definitely small as. And I'll show you guys some of the art. I might as well. It's quite. Oh. Can't see from there! Um. Yeah, I really like the art. Um, it's quite, you know, kind of cutesy. And yeah, it's not shoji or shoju either. So, it's completely a manga on its own. So, if you kind of like, you know, love anything to do with romance and love, Check this out. That's it for the manga. Let's move on to the anime. And by the way, there's only like four that I managed to get over a period of two months as well. The first anime I got, I got back in um, April. It was part of the Easter sale for Mad Men um, here in Australia. Um, I never get to the sales. I always miss them. So I thought, fuck this. I'm going to get something because I always miss it. So I ended up picking up uh, Zamdi Collection 2 because I'd seen already Collection 1 of Zamdi. Zamdi was kind of a random anime that I just randomly wanted to watch. Um, funnily enough, I did and I have watched the whole anime and I was very, very disappointed. I was because the first few episodes of this anime were really, really good. Um, but just the plot of the anime my god, you, I do not get it. Even reading on Wikipedia, like before I even watched it, I did not get the plot of this anime. It is like all over the place. It really is. I've never had such an anime confuse me so much. Especially in Collection 2, the episodes I think between, I think it was 14 to 26, there's just like this slow period of depressive shit. And it, it just... The plot was lost in all of that, and it, it was it just had this depressing break in in the anime, and then right towards the end we pick up on the action level of things, and it was just not fun to watch. So this anime gravely disappointed me. It did actually. I have yet to review it. Um, I'll probably review it within the next couple of weeks, but it's probably not going to be a good review. I'm probably going to be very harsh on this anime, but I can't help it. If I just don't enjoy something, then I just d didn't enjoy it. So, um, but you know, it interested me because it was about Mecha. It was about a boy turning into this robot called Zandy and the plot behind it. That's what interested me in the beginning. But yeah, I would not recommend this to anyone. I sound horrible. No, I would not recommend this anime. So part of also the Easter sale for Mad Men, I also picked up a all-time favourite, <laughs> which was prettier. Get a good look at the, get a good look at the front cover. It's so cute. So 
I freaking freaking love this anime. Um, I what it was one of the first few animes I watched. It was the sixth first, sixth anime I ever watched. It is just such an adorable series. It's only like 13 episodes, but um, it, it was made in 2002, I believe. Um, it's all surrounded about a girl named Himino Awayuki. She's trying to fit into her new home where her father was an, a, a novelist. And um, you know they were kind of living a poor life in that. And then she's oh, and then her father remarries into a rich family, and um, so she's got a stepmother and two stepsisters, and and she's not really fitting into her rich life. She, but then along come these beautiful, beautiful men called the Elife Knights, and they seek out Pimino because she's known as something called the pre tier to them, and um, she's supposed to save. Um, the Lee Fei were in the world. Uh, Lee Fei in this anime means life. It means everything, pretty much to do with nature and that. Um, it's to save the Lee Fei in the world from the princess of disaster. So, I it's a beautiful anime. You know, it's got good comedy. It's got romance, obviously. Um, it's got some really good characters. And what I love about this anime is that. Um, so much is compacted into 13 episodes, but it is gone. It goes into so much great detail. Like the, the nothing is left unscraped. Everything is gone into great detail. But you will need a tissue box for this anime too, because there are scenes that will make you cry. Definitely, because it made me cry. So yeah, I got this for um, I believe it was 15 bucks. So that was good. I would definitely recommend pre tier Definitely. Moving on! Next anime that I picked up, which actually was recently this month, um, it had been on my list to watch for a long, long time, which was Waiting in the Summer! Uh, I believe this anime was made in 2012, and here is the front cover. I quite like it. Uh, I think the animation style is quite unique as well. Um, this anime is about a group of friends that um, decide to make a movie during a summer break and um, we have our two main characters which is Ichika here and uh, Kaito and um, the twist in this anime is that she Ichiko is a alien so um, it adds a really good twist to the plot of the anime it is still about them making a movie during the summer but um, it, it, it was, in the end, um, a really beautiful movie, but the ending just, oh, again, need a box of tissues. Um, it's probably not an anime I would re-watch, I wouldn't, but the, it's, the very strong themes in this anime are love, relationships, and love triangles. There is so much of that going on, and the way it was done was brilliant. It really, really was. I did do a review on this anime, you can check it out on my blog, all the, the link to my blog is in the description down below. But yeah, this anime was beautiful, um, but unfortunately there is no English dub, so um, I did not realise that until I actually bought the anime and saw it was in Japanese with English subtitles, but I thought screw it anyway, I'd spent the money, so let's watch it anyway. But yeah, um, it's still a really, really good, good anime. It is, so I highly recommend checking it out if you like aliens and romance. Yeah. So that's it, Kinos. That is it for my mini anime and manga haul. Um, I'm usually not good at doing these whole things or explaining things, so I do apologise, I do, because it was probably the lamest haul video you've ever going to see. Ever. Hopefully next week I will have a new um, new thoughts video on one of the spring anime 2015s I'm watching, which is, is it wrong to pick up my girls in a dungeon? I may be able to get it done sooner, it depends. LIFE! Yeah, life. Don't forget to subscribe for more craziness and join the Kino family! Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!